To commemorate the 100th anniversary of the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, we begin two days of honoring the unknowns with flowers. This event recreates what took place at the United States Capitol Rotunda on November 9th and 10th, 1921. We will be the first to approach the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier on the plaza so that all may lay a flower to personally honor those who gave up both their life and their identity for our country. This mirrors the celebration a century ago when people from across the nation came to Arlington National Cemetery to lay flowers when the World War I unknown soldier was interred. This is also remarkable because it's the first time in 96 years that visitors have been allowed to approach the tomb. 100 years ago today, Chief Plenty Coos stood on this very ground we are standing on at the dedication ceremony of the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier in 1921. We, the Upsalogae, also known as the Crow, Crow people, are here to respect and honor the bravery of men and women who gave their lives for freedom. Over the last century, flowers have played a significant role in honoring the unknown, beginning with his selection in France, his journey home, his funeral, and the wreath ceremonies that occur daily here at Arlington National Cemetery. The unknown soldier's flower-laden casket arrived here at Arlington on November 11th, 1921. Flowers were placed all around him in the amphitheater behind me, and in the decades that followed, individuals, organizations, school groups have all come to lay flowers to honor this unknown soldier and his brothers from later wars. As you lay your flower, we at Arlington encourage you to reflect on the meaning of the tomb. By the simple act of laying a flower, you are not only honoring the three unknowns buried here, but all unknown or missing American service members who made the ultimate sacrifice in service to our nation. As the tomb now reads, here rests an honored glory, an American soldier known but to God.